Hey guys, so I am going to be doing this eye look. So basically it's an everyday wear but with a little sparkle added to it. So if you want to learn how to create this look, just keep watching. I'm going to prime my eyes using a concealer and you can use any concealer that you have but right now I'm using the Naked Skin by Urban Decay concealer in Fair Neutral. So you're just going to apply that all over your lid and then blend it in with a brush or you can use your fingers. Personally I like using my fingers to blend stuff in because the warmth just blends it in real nicely. Next I'm going to set my concealer or my base with the eyeshadow and I'm just using a nice neutral eyeshadow. It can be matte for this look. Um, if you want you can have a bit of shimmer in it but if you do have shimmer in it you don't want to put it all the way up to the brow bone. Next I'm going to be taking a nice burgundy color and I'm going to be taking this one by MAC. It is called Dark Brew. Um, but you can use any dark burgundy color. I'm going to be just applying that right on my outer V. And bring it into the crease. Don't worry if it's messy because we're just going to blend it out anyway. I'm going to bring it in quite far. It's just going to give my eye some depth. Next I'm going to be taking a blending brush and I'm going to be blending that color in. So you can take a clean br blending brush, I'm just taking Morphe B81 and these brushes are really inexpensive. I love them because they're professionally made. So I'm just going to be doing windshield wiper motions and blending that color in. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking a nice shiny cranberry color. Um, this one unfortunately doesn't have a name, but it is from a Lise Watte Holiday Palette. I'm going to be taking this nice dark cranberry color from a Lise Watte Holiday Palette. And I'm going to be placing that on my lower V, but I'm not going to bring it up into the crease. I'm going to be using a more flat brush. You can use any brush you want, but this is the brush I find works the best with it. So like I said, we're just going to go in that V. And I'm going to pack it right on the lid. Don't worry if it's messy, we're going to be blending it. So just like I said, we're going to be blending it. So I'm just taking a nice fluffy clean blending brush. And I'm just going to be blending that inward towards the inside of the lid. The next step is to add this nice sparkly kind of white color. You can use any sparkles for this. I'm just using the Urban Decay one. It's a really old one, but it's the UZI. Um, and it's just really white and kind of pearlescent plus the sparkles on the inside. So you could always just use silver sparkles or like a pearl. I'm going to be taking this nice, I think it's a concealer brush. It's by Quo. So I'm going to be putting it in the sparkles first. And then I'm going to spray some MAC Fix Plus onto the brush afterward. That way the eyeshadow in the pot doesn't get um, messed up or dried out if it's not a, the right consistency. So I'm just going to pat that all from the middle of my lid all the way to the in inner corner and just pat it up against the crease. Right, and you will find that it has an ugly line and what I do with that is I take a nice it's a little kind of pencil blending brush and I'm gonna take a a lighter color than the burgundy this pink right here and I'm gonna blend that line out just makes it a nice smooth finish just like that next I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I will be right back alright so I am back I just wanted to let you guys know that I did use my benefit the real push-up liner um, it's a gel liner but it's in a pen form so 
it's really easy to use, especially for the wing. Next, I'm just going to be doing my uh, mascara, and then I'm going to be doing some highlighting under the brow bone. So, for my mascara, I am I actually got this deluxe sample of the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. So I'm going to apply that. So I'm going to just apply that to my lashes. Alright, so I just finished the rest of my face makeup. I also added some lashes. So for my face makeup, I used the Marc Jacob New Foundation. For my highlight, I used the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Just mix all three shades together. And for my contour, I used the Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow in Cement. Um, I find that color is the best because it's all gray undertones, especially for pale skin like me. Also, on my lips right now, I'm wearing the Lies Watier velvet um lip lip locker in nude and my eyelashes are ardell in 120. just gonna do the under eye for my eye makeup and then we will be finished all right so we are just going to be doing my under the eye makeup so i'm going to be using this nice pink color and this gray color mixed with the cranberry so we're gonna start off with that nice light pink Alright, and then we're going to do the gray color next. You're going to start that with the outside. And we're going to next do that nice cranberry color. And that's going to drag all the way up to the outside wing. I'm going to kind of bring it all the way down to the middle, but don't add any extra color when you go down into the middle. So start with the most color on the outside, and then drag it in. I did my brows. I used the Imani Minerals Brow Duo. So that is my finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please comment down below. Click that subscribe button. Stay beautiful.